Joe Biden made. And one of these gumshoes could find her. He's traveled to Malta with his family and enjoys working with computers. Meet Andrew Falzone. She'd like to explore the Australian outback and speak some Korean. Meet Sue Han. He likes to play basketball and football and has traveled to Toronto, Canada. Meet Rajbir Joswal. And here's Ashley's senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Hi, guys. <laughs> nice to see you. Thank you very much. Rugby, <laughs> uh, nice to see you, Sue. Good to see you, Andrew. How are you guys? Hey, they're the biggest band in Latvia. Rockabilla. Oh, and as you know, the one of you that catches car in San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America, and that is not bad, folks. <laughs> so we're going to start everything off right at the very front of the show, since it works better that way. Chief, who are we after? This is Patty Larceny. But but the Patty. A gal with straight A's and twisted morals who walks the crooked path for Carmen San Diego. Her last known whereabouts? Mexico. <laughs> Painter Diego Rivera is a giant in the history of Mexican art. He was a big man who became hugely famous for enormous paintings called murals. Rivera was concerned with Mexico's poor and working class people, and his art is often filled with their images. He thought his murals should be seen by everyone, not just those who go to museums. So instead of painting on canvas, Diego painted his murals on walls in public places. More than a hundred Rivera murals can be seen throughout Mexico. Until today, that is. When a prissy perp named Patty <laughs> decided to privatize a previously public painting. <laughs> She proceeded to purloin the pictures by pulling the paintings off their <laughs> perches. Now, they pose for people to peep at in Patty's picture place at a paltry peso a pop. Gumshoes, please retrieve those paintings from their present predicament. <laughs> Patty's plaster picture pinch. All right. Thank you, Chief. We're going to try to get those murals back, guys. To help you out, we're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we're going to give you 10 more crime bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. Okay, it's time now for our very first clue, which comes to us from an average superhero with an above-average costume. It's Acme Man! Look out, look out! Ow. Acme Man, Acme Man, if he can do it, maybe anyone can. Hold it a minute, dear friend. That chicken you're about to eat isn't what you think it is. Allow me, Acme Man, to change it while I give a clue to my friends at Acme. <laughs> Patty's been spotted on Bellevue Avenue in a famous Rhode Island town. Around the turn of the century, some of America's richest people built spectacular summer homes there. Cornelius Vanderbilt's place is called The Breakers. It has 70 rooms and was designed like the palaces in northern Italy. Perfect. There you are, my friend. You will never know how close you came to eating regular fried chicken instead of extra crispy. Are you not impressed? Of course you are. Am I not the greatest superhero of all time? Of course I am. For I am Acme Man, and I am going away. Acme Man! Someday, I promise you, he will have his own comic book. Okay, Gumshoes, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Newport? Edgartown or Portsmouth. Remember the clues that we heard? Famous town in Rhode Island. Spectacular mansions built as summer homes. Tell me, where did Patty take the murals? Sue is ready. So is Andrew. Uh, Rajbir is also ready. Rajbir, we start with you. What do you say, bud? Newport. Newport. What do you think, Sue? I said Newport. Newport. Andrew. I chose Edgartown. Edgartown, the answer we're looking for is Newport. A reason to smile. Oh, yes. That means at the end of the first clue, Raj Beer has 60, Sue 60, Andrew 50, Acme Crime Bucks. Now, guys, it's time for us to check in with Rockapella. It's Boys. good to be king. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Loading your horse down a river long. 
Thanks a lot, guys. Very nice. <laughs> All right, Gumshoes, name the river, if you will, please. Is it Magdalena, Orinoco, or Putumayo? Remember the clues that we heard in Venezuela forms part of border with Colombia and legend of El Dorado. This one could be a little tough, but Sue's ready already. So is Andrew. Rajbir is now ready. Rajbir, what do you say? Orinoco. Uh, Orinoco. What do you think, Sue? Orinoco. Orinoco. What do you think, Andrew? I chose Orinoco. Everyone said the same thing. The answer we're looking for is Orinoco. Thank you. And as, of course, a reminder for all of you playing at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. It's harmonious. It's the way it should be. Okay, guys, uh, our next clue comes to us now from an informant from Acme. Lyra doesn't grow on trees. Net. Wow. Patty just sent me on a ferry ticket. She's sailing the Bosporus towards the Black Sea, past the location that was once the Byzantine Empire's capital. Back in the 7th century, Byzantines got fed up with enemy ships attacking the city. So they used a weapon called Greek fire. Big flamethrowers with a secret fuel that burned entire fleets. They say a Russian prince lost 10,000 ships to Greek fire in one battle. But there's one ship you can't lose, gumshoes. The one Paddy's sailing. You know, if anybody asks you, it is true, money does talk. <laughs> okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it Istanbul, Ankara, or Athens? Remember the clues that we heard on a body of water called the Bosporus, the Black Sea, and location was former capital of the Byzantine Empire. Tell me, where did Patty take the murals? Andrew's ready, so is Sue, so is Rajbir. Rajbir, what do you say, buddy? Istanbul. Istanbul. Sue. Istanbul. Same thing, Andrew. Istanbul. The answer we're looking for is Istanbul. Thank you. That means Raj Beer goes up to 80. Sue has 80. Andrew right in there with 70 Acme Crime Bucks. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the show, the lightning round. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Special effects like you've never seen before. All these are worth five Acme Crime Bucks. Hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully here. We go. All these are, by, uh, by the way, about Patty's most recent no whereabouts, Turkey. I just had a thing. I'm a little mixed up. Here we go. This ancient city located in Turkey is associated with a beautiful woman named Helen and a really big wooden horse. Is it Sagus, Nintendus, or Troy? Sue? Troy. Troy is right. Nice job. Five for you. Ah. <sighs> Question two, a dinner in Turkey might be followed by a sweet dessert like kabak tatlesa. Is that right, Word Queen? Pretty good, right? Uh, is kabak tatlesa ice cream with chicken sauce, pumpkin slices in syrup, or hamster pie? Andrew. Pumpkin slices in syrup? Is right. Nice job. How'd you know that? How did you know that? None of the others made sense. Very good. None of the others made sense. We try to make it, design it that way. You're up to 75. Here's the last question. In one region, Bosporus separates European from Asian Turkey. What's the most convenient way to cross the Bosporus? By camel, by skateboard, or by driving a car across a bridge? Sue. Driving a car across the bridge. Is exactly right. Thank you very much. That means at the end of the lightning round, Raj Beer has 80, Sue has 90, Andrew 75 Acme Crime Bucks. Now it's time for our next clue. We go uh, to... Excuse me, uh, Gary, could you come in here for a second, please? Excuse me, pal. My name is Greg. Yeah, whatever. You know, this doesn't look right. I mean, uh, the chief should be in there. She's not. I'm a little bit worried. Stay right here. All right, what are you doing here, buddy? What's the deal? The chief has been called away on emergency business. Yeah, right. So who are you? Well, Craig, my name is Mr. Schwem. Uh -huh. I'm the substitute chief for today. Uh -huh. Now, I was told I can count on your help. Sure, Mr. Schwemp. You know, first off, we uh, must do the home viewer contest. 
Right. I know how this goes. No, 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 no. Hey, usually I sit at the desk for the contest. Oh, okay. Very much. That's how we normally do it. Ah. If you want to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you've collected four listed locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Ask Me Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five, five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. That's my line, Slim. Here's a list of the winners for today. Congratulations to the winners, all right? Okay, yeah. now the chief said something about giving you your annual detective tip. Oh, well, that seems very strange, Mr. Schwimp, because this is usually the day when the chief lets us go home early. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> when have I ever taken advantage of a substitute chief, huh? Every single time I've had a substitute. Chief, let me tell you something. This guy, he's good, he's good. Who are you? Phone tap. Patty, you're off to a French island in the Mediterranean. Don't get sidetracked by all the teenagers who hang out there. Finally, kids my own age. I spend too much time with old people, Carmen. I'll ignore that. Over the past years, lots of rural teenagers have left their homes for the capital city of Jacques Show or mainland France. Why? Aren't there any malls? No, Patty. Rural kids spend their time doing things like raising sheep and making cheese. That's one reason why young people are moving to places where they can shop, skateboard, and go to discos. But I have to admit, if it's between shopping or making cheese, um, I could shop for cheese. We're going to leave that up to you to answer that question. Okay, guys, name the island, if you will, please. Is it Crete, Ireland, or Corsica? Remember the clues. In Mediterranean, part of France, and capital city is... A just show. Remember the clues that we uh, gave you and come up with an answer as quick as you can. Everybody's ready. Raj Beer, what do you say? Corsica. Corsica. What do you think, Sue? Corsica. Same thing, Andrew. I chose Corsica. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody is right. Hello. <laughs> so that means Raj Beer has 90, Sue has 100, Andrew 85 Acme Crime Bugs. Now, our next clue comes to us from my uh, Michael. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Pinch, uh, can I see the cue card, please? I'm, sure. It doesn't quite look right to me. I'm sorry. Me, he, uh, what's the deal with this? Oh, I'm sorry, Gary. These are in Greg, Russian. Greg, Greg, my name's Greg. Oh, well, whatever. Just take a minute. I'll fix them. Yeah, okay. Fine. Just a minute. Well, then I'll just follow my nose and see if I can sniff up a clue or two. The phone? Ah! The fin. See, in a central European country, that's what they call a warm, dry wind that blows out of the Alps. They say the fin causes avalanches, traffic accidents, and even clinical depression. But there must be more. Of course. Patty's in a city that's known for great skiing and winter sports. It hosted the Winter Olympics in 1964 and 1976. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I'll, I'll, just, uh, I'll just wing it, as I normally do. <coughs> Gumshoes, name the city, if you would, please. Is it Oslo, Milan, or Innsbruck? Remember the clues that we heard? Central Europe, in the Alps, and two-time Olympic host. Come up with an answer as quick as you can. Sue's ready. So is Rajbir, and Andrew is ready, too. Rajbir, what do you say? I chose Innsbruck. Innsbruck. What do you think, Sue? Innsbruck. Innsbruck. What do you think, Andrew? I chose Oslo. Oslo, the answer looking for is Innsbruck. Nice job, guys. <laughs> so that means Rajbir goes up to 100, Sue 110, Andrew 85, Acme Crime Bugs. Now we received word that Patty has left Austria, so let's pick up the chase. Oh, 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 the chase. All of these are worth five Acme Crime Bucks. Hands on your buzzers, watch the monitor, listen carefully, here we go. Patty packed off to the United States' more nor most northern location. Name the point. Andrew. Barrow. Point Barrow is right. She trekked to a location at latitude 90 degrees north. Name it. Andrew. North Pole. Is right. Then she was sighted in Spitsbergen. Name the Norwegian island group. It's, uh, was that in time, judges? No, it was Svalbard. 
She sidestepped into the capital of Iceland. Name it. Uh, Raj Beer. Um, Reykjavik? Uh, Reykjavik is right. Patty traipsed to Trondheim. Name the sea she crossed. Andrew? Norwegian Sea? Is right. That means at the end of the chase round, Raj Beer has 105, Sue 110, Andrew 100. Nice job, guys. Good round for you, Andrew. You're back in the game now. Okay, guys, it's now time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Patty is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. Everybody's ready for our last and final clue. We go to field agent Susan Rook from CNN Net. Susan. Patty moved the murals to the capital of Syria. Now, follow me on this one, Gumshoes. The place has had different names over time, but people live here. That means it is inhabited. And once people started living here, about 4,000 years ago, there was never a time when people didn't live here. So that means it has been continuously inhabited. Now, that's where it really gets cool. There's no place on Earth that's been continuously inhabited as long as this place has. So you could call it the world's oldest continuously inhabited place. That's what I'm going to call it, and I'm out of here. Well, then that's what we'll call it, too, Susan. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, name the city where Patty took the murals. Is it ba Baghdad, Damascus, or Shiraz? Remember the clues that we heard. Capital of Syria, oldest continuously inhabited place on Earth. This one may be tough. Come up with an answer as quick as you can once you're ready. Put those answers right down there in front of you guys. Sue's ready, so is Raj Beer, and so is Andrew. Andrew, we're going to start with you. You have 100 Acme Crime Bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 20 Crime Bucks. 20 Crime Bucks. What did you say, Andrew? I chose Damascus. Damascus is right. Nice job, Andrew. Oh, yeah. Takes up to 120. Uh, Raj Beer, you have 105 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? Uh, I wagered 30 crime books. 30 crime books. You get 135 if you're right, bud. What'd you say? Damascus. Nice job, Raj Beer. Yeah. Sue, you're at 110. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime books. 30 crime books. If you're right, you and Raj Beer are going on to the next round. What'd you say, Sue? I said Damascus. Nice job, Sue. You and Raj Beer are going on to the next round. And you put it there, pal. You played a great game. Very close, very tight. That's the way we like to see it here. T, what do you have for us? That's Patty Larceny. She can really be slick. I should have sent all of you out with the official Ask Me Travel Pass. There's so much good stuff in here for fighting crime, like an atlas, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and our Ask Me voice identification badge and Visa message wallet for use only by Acme agents. Greg? All right, guys, it's time for us uh, to Greg, head off to... Greg, before you go, did you walk the dog and feed Rockapella? Why, of course, Chief. We're going to Syria. You guys ready? Grab the hat, grab the door. I got the Chief. You know where we're going. We're going to Syria. Let's go. <laughs> Chief, I can't seem to get this gear shift out of park. Oh, no wonder, Greg. That lever flushes the toilet. <laughs> okay, Gumshoes, here we are in Syria. You know where to go. So do I. So does the Chief. Here we go. Hey, Chief. All right, Gumshoes. There are 15 places here in Damascus where you might find Patty the Warrant or the Diego Rivera murals. Here are a few of them. First, conduct aerial reconnaissance of downtown Damascus. Its streets bustle with people, cars, trucks, and merchants. This city's been a trading center for thousands of years. Next, Patty may try to disguise the mural amongst the mosaics of El Omawi. This mosque dates from the 8th century and is one of the holiest shrines in Islam. No doubt about it, gumshoes. Those Damascus coffee shops are really fancy. No, just kidding. This gent's probably getting ready to greet visitors with a delicious cup of the local brew. And be sure to ask these resident Acme agents if they've seen anything unusual lately, like a girl with a mural on her head instead of a bucket. <whistles> Gumshoes, it's time to dive into Damascus. Pop the cuffs on Patty, then mail back those murals next day air. Thank you, Chief. Okay, guys, loot warrant crook is the order. Sue, you had the most crime bucks at the end of the last round. You go first, bud. 
Aleppo Citadel. Aleppo Citadel. Nothing there, we're on our way. Rajbir. Um, National Museum. National Museum. Nothing there. Sue. Euphrates Dam. Euphrates Dam. Nothing there. Rajbir. Damascus International Airport. Damascus International Airport. <coughs> Sorry, nothing there. Sue. Blue Beach. Uh, yeah, it's a great resort area there on the Mediterranean coast. Blue Beach. Nothing there. Rajbir. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Misappropriated murals. You have the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Um, Azem Palace. Azem Palace. <coughs> Nothing there, but you found the root. The root. The root of the loot. Nothing there. Go ahead, Sue. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Felony Alfresco. Go ahead, Sue. EFCA Spring. Efka Spring. Attention, Efka shoppers. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Turn it back around. Spring. R Rosbier, go ahead. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Lost Temperance. Go ahead, Rajbir. Hejaz Railway. Uh, the Railway. The Warrant. Nice job. You have the loot and the warrant just trying to find the crook. Go ahead. C Castle of the Knights. Uh, it was uh, built, of course, in the Middle Ages by the Crusaders. Is uh, the crook at Castle of the Knights. Whoop, whoop. No patty there. We turn all three back around, but nice job. You got two of them. Sue, go ahead. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Anti-Lebanon Mountain. Click, Ethel, take that picture. Go ahead, Sue. Hijaz Railway. Hijaz Railway. The warrant. The loot and the warrant. Trying to find Patty. Go ahead, Sue. Oasis of Palmyra. Oasis of Palmyra. <laughs> yeah, Patty. buddy. You Whoa. won. <laughs> Surprise me. Nice job. You know what to do? There's the chain. Go do it. Put him in jail. <laughs> Patty's in jail. Nice job, Sue. Stay right there. Smile anytime you're ready. Good enough. Well, you, on the other hand, you're doing great work. I've got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do you say? Hey, don't let those criminals get you down. Watch this. Okay, that's the button that turns off the TV. Now, this is the one that lets you write secret messages. And this is the one that zaps it through the air to another secret sender. What else does this baby do? It stores names and addresses, keeps your busy schedule organized, reads your daily horoscope. And if I press this button, yep, that's the one that shows the Acme travel pack. Upside down. Web key! Thank you, Chief. Smiling yet? Oh, yes. She's the winner, believe it or not. She's very happy. Now it's time for your portfolio. Vindaloo. You know what's inside of there. Your piece of paper and your pen. I'm going to write down where you like to go if you get Karma San Diego. We're going to do that right now. Here we go. Where do you want to go? You know where you wanted to go, didn't you? They had this plan for how much money. Who knows? Anyway, we got to get a phone message. Not a phone message, really, but a call. Usually rings. There it is. Hold on a second. Hello? Do I have any messages? No? Just a phone call? Okay, hold on. It's for you. Hello? I used to be a sweet, innocent schoolgirl. Now I'm a sweet, guilty schoolgirl, and it's all Carmen's fault. Look for her in North America. Sue, you and I are going after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Alaska, USA, Saskatchewan, Canada, Hudson Bay, Canada, Lake Huron, New York, USA, North Carolina, USA, Colorado, USA, California, USA, Texas, USA, Durango, Mexico, Bahamas, Jamaica, Lake Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Fred, let's go to the map. Feel good. You know what to do, right? Put a marker in your hand. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. Cheer on, you guys. Good luck to you, Sue. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Coming with the Hudson Bay, Canada. Hudson Bay, Canada. Yeah. Durango, Durango, Mexico. Durango, Mexico. Durango, Durango, Mexico. Come on. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan. Do it. Try it again. Yeah. San Diego, California. San Diego, California. Do it. Do it. Hampstead, New York. Hampstead, New York. Go, buddy. Go. Do it. Lake Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Lake Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Do it. Come on. 
Didn't make it seven and forty-five seconds. Big round of applause, guys. I don't know about you, but I'm worn out, man. Me too. Oh man, that was an excellent run. You did a great job, Chief. What do we have for? Carmen can be hard to catch, but I think you did a great job. That's why I'm giving you this portable CD music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this library of world music. You made it. You're a Zeus. Congratulations. Put it right here, Sue. Excellent job, Sue. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Well, she sneaks around the world from Vienna to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. Taking you for a ride on a slow bus to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal that soul. <laughs> Lynn Dixon for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. And remember, from Acme's Grit Tip Cat Finagle, we boost our strength with lock and bagel. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. Everybody jump.